Hey guys, this is Think of Apple speaking. Today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade any iOS app on your iPhone, iPad, iPod, or any Apple device that you have. Well, without having to jailbreak it. And as you can see, this is my iPhone screen. And I'm going to be videoing the progress and how to downgrade it, but I'm going to be moving straight to my Mac desktop right here. It's very soon to show you how to do the process. And it's absolutely free. It's actually pretty easy as long as you follow the instructions and yeah like I said earlier in the video you can downgrade any app that you like all right hey guys I'm back to my Mac desktop I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade any iOS app on your phone without having to jailbreak it all right so first you want to go to this website called charlesprophecy.com and I'm going to leave a link below on the description so it's basically this charlesprophecy.com right here and just to remind you, this actually works also on Windows, but I haven't tested it, so do it for your own risk. I'm not sure, so yeah, if it works or anything, have any questions, leave it in the comment below. So right, you, do you click download free trial, although I already downloaded so I don't have to like do it again. So you save it in your desktop and you will get this file. And then you obviously double click the file. Which I'll do. Make sure you click agree as normal. If you want, if you're that, that that type of user who reads all of this, then go ahead, enjoy yourself. But you do have to understand the agreement stuff. So. Okay, right to the point. Agree. Verifying. I'll skip it for now. And yeah, now I already have Charles on my application folder already. So if you, since you're like doing this not new, you just drag it and you put in your application folder and it will be installed. Alright, so once you're done moving your Charles process to your application folder, you want to eject this since you don't need it anymore. And now you want to go to Launchpad, go click Charles Proxy, and it will open. Now you will see this window, um, this loading delay window, and that's because you are running a 30 day free trial. So yeah, I'll just wait for 10 seconds um, and, it will, and the window will appear. Now, this is really important. You want to make sure you click Grant Pri Privileges since that's for it to work. Now you just type in your password. And now you will be brought to this window. Now, before you do anything or touch anything, you want to open iTunes, which I already have open. And then you want to go to the App Store and search for the app that you want to downgrade. But before I do that, you can see from here that these are all the apps that I have downgraded before in the past. So yeah, so for this video, I'm gonna be downgrading Twitter for just for an example. Now you go to the App Store, you want to search for Twitter, and since I'm using the iPhone, I go to the iPhone app. But if you're using the iPad, obviously you you click on the iPad unless you want to click the iPhone. I mean, it depends on the Apple device you have. So. I'll click on Twitter and I want you want to click and now at this point you want to click download okay let me just move these windows aside all right so once you click downgrade download <laughs> excuse me you will see this thing pop up right here p49 by iTunes Apple now you want to right click right right click while it's downloading right click and you want to click enable SSL proxying and want to make sure that you cancel it down before it finishes. So you just click on the delete button on your keyboard and delete again to cancel it down. Now, what you want to do next is actually search Twitter again. So search Twitter. You want to go to your app again. And you want to click download. Now, if you move back to this window, you will see this this another win this another um link that sh that shows up. If you have if you click on the sub down arrow, click on web objects, you will see this thing called byproduct. Now you, you want to move back to iTunes, cancel the download, and move back to Charles Box. Now this is basically where you're gonna do all the editing in order for the app to downgrade. Now if you click on response, XML tests. This is just this is basically just an XML file showing you the version, how basically development of the app. Now you want to right click on byproduct, right click, and you want to click export. 
Now you can export this anywhere, but preferably I'm gonna do desktop, name it anything. But you wanna make sure that you, for format, you wanna click, you wanna click XML summary file. So you can view the text inside. So save. Now you wanna go to your desktop. Okay, let me just, and click on XML, this the file to save. Now you see this whole bunch of code that you have no idea. Like you may, you may think, oh my god, what is this? Like really, really, really. All right, so don't panic. Just follow where I go. You want to scroll down, and you want to see, and you want to go to the part where you'll see all these numbers right here. Where it says integer and some random four-digit, five-digit numbers or anything. So yeah. Now, what you're actually seeing is all the versions that. Of this app since the beginning like the top will be the the first first version like the oldest oldest version of Twitter and the the bottom will be like the latest latest version so as you can see Twitter has gone through so many updates over the past history so um, you can pick any version you like but like if you may be wondering like how would you know which version like just from these numbers like how would you know well that's the point you actually try on error so let's say um for this let's say I want to downgrade to let's say this number before the eight popped up, right? So you wanna highlight it, click copy, and you wanna actually click by product and you wanna click edit. Alright, so once you click edit, you will see this window right here, and you wanna head over to text. Now, as you can see, this is actually the version ID, that the latest version ID of the Twitter, and you can also see that it's also very similar to. If you scroll down right here, this is basically the latest version, like I said earlier. So now, when I head over back, so whatever version ID from this text XML file you saved on your desktop, whatever which one you want to pick, just for trial and error, you want to copy. You want to actually highlight this version ID and click paste. Okay, click paste. Yeah. So now, at this point, you want to click execute. And now you'll see if you head over to XML text, which is already right here, if you scroll down, you will actually see the version of which one that you're actually installing downgrading to excuse me 6.18 and if you head over back to iTunes 6.46.1 compared to 6.18 so like I said you can do trial and error like you can do this multiple times as you may like to whatever version you would like to downgrade to all right so 6.18 that's clear now you want to right click on byproduct the second one this not this one this one you want to click on right click on it and you want to click breakpoints. Now after you click breakpoints, you want to head over back to iTunes, refresh the page by going searching Twitter again, and you want to click on the app again. Now once you click on the app, you have you click download. But once you click down, down download, it will actually stop iTunes from downloading, and also bring you to this window where you get to edit the version ID. So you go to edit request, you go to XML text, and you paste in the version ID that you want to downgrade to. So you paste, and then you click execute. And it will show you another video window, excuse me, and you click execute again. Now once you're done with that, it's gonna start downloading Twitter. And you can see that this actually has much smaller file compared to the latest version of iTunes, which is 112 megabytes compared to 20.4 megabytes. So yeah, it's really like surprising just to see that. So once you're done with that, you want to head over to your apps, and you can see Twitter, the old version of Twitter is right there. You can actually prove this by going to Get Info. Okay. So, and you can see version 6.18, like I showed you earlier from 
the Charles window. So all you have to do now is just connect your iPhone. So be right back. All right, so once you have your phone connected to your computer, you wanna go back to your computer. Okay, focus, please, focus. <laughs> all right, so you wanna go back to your computer. Uh, how much time does the computer? Okay, so you go back to the, okay. You go to your iPhone, you go to your apps, you drag Twitter, you hold Twitter down and you drag it to your phone. And it will basically start syncing right here. Let me just open it. Right there. Just to show you that it does work. I'm not playing any tricks or anything. So, yeah. Right there, successfully installed. And now you just open it. And there you have it, the old version of Twitter. So, yeah. So that's all guys. Um, I hope you liked the video. Sorry for some of my stutterness. <laughs> um, that's it. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment below. And yeah, so peace.